Hiya and welcome to Itsy Crafty. In this tutorial I'm going to make a planner divider for the month of May using the Milk Bar Kit from Planners Anonymous and I've printed the Lux Monthly Insert for Milk Bar out and so I'm going to cut that and get that all organised to put behind the May divider. So if you'd like to see this process, please stay tuned. This is my Sakura Melody Planner from Planners Anonymous and I'm going to set a divider up here for May. So behind the calendar tab, I'm going to have a tab here which will be for May. The first thing I need to do is choose the paper from the milk bar kit that I want to use for the divider and cut it to the size of the divider. So to do this I'm just going to take one of these dividers out and I can use this divider as a template for size. For my May divider I'm just going to cut the rectangle and then I'll cut a tab separately to add to the divider. I have a Cricut and a Silhouette so I can use those machines to cut this with the tabs but I'd just like to show you that you don't need all this fancy stuff you can just even use a pair of scissors to cut it so you can for example just choose your paper and just run your pencil along the outside of the divider you want to use and cut along that line and there you have your dividers. I'll be using my paper cutter for cutting the divider and I have this Fiskars Precision Rotary Cutter. The first thing to do is just check the measurements of the divider that you want to cut. So I can see here there's the height of 7 inches and the width is 5.3 inches and um, what I do is have a piece of washi here so I know I basically just hold my pages up to this edge of the washi and then it will cut in the right place. I'll just lift that up so you can see that, that piece of washi there. You can see I have other pieces of washi to signify sizes for other things. This is the paper that came in the milk bar kit. I was going to use the ice cream but that's actually what's on the cover of the monthly insert so that would be a little bit of ice cream overload so I just need to choose, I love this one, just need to choose one of the papers and I actually think I'm going to use this one here so first of all we'll just cut that to the width so I just hold it up against my piece of washi there and then cut it at seven inches and with this little off cut here I can make a contrasting tab for the divider I'll just punch holes in this. I just showed this in my last video. This is my Repesco hole punch from Amazon and I use that for my B6. If you'd like to see how I've set it up to use, just have a look at my Sakura Melody video and I talk about the hole punch during that. I want to make the tab now and there's a few ways that you can do this. You can just trace this tab with a pencil and hand cut or you can use your die cutting machine, your silhouette, your Cricut, your whatever to cut a tab for you. This is my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board which I bought a while ago and it's just a nice quick way of making tabs. So I have this piece of paper here and I want the tab to be this colour on each side so I just want to fold the piece of paper in half and to easily do this I'm just going to score a line along it using my We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard. You don't need all these tools but just because I have them it makes life a little bit easier. So it's one and a half inches so I basically want to score it at three quarters of an inch. 
Yeah, it just makes it a bit easier to fold in half. And now with this part of the tab punch board, I'm just going to put this little thing in the side tab holes and push this in as far as it'll go. That cuts the side of the tab and then I'm just going to place this on small. You can see there's markings here for small, medium and large so you can make standardized tabs. You can also just make your own marking but I'm just going to use the small so I'll push it along there and there we have the tab all ready to add. Um, what I'm going to do is put the tabs along the top because when we look here I'm going to actually use all of these dividers here and then in calendar is where I'm going to add the different months. So for example I can have this here and then have a top tab on it and this can be for May. And that way I get to use the top tabs and the side tabs. To add the tab here you just pretty much need to glue inside here to have both sections of the tab stick to each other and onto the divider. I have one of these Xyron machines and it's just easy basically to stick the tab into there and that just instantly makes it into a sticker. You just push down a bit on that. I'm all about doing things quickly and if you can get little tools that make a job easier, I want the little tool. So what that does now is you can peel the tab off here and that's put a sticky back onto it. So then I just want to put that here. I'm going to put the edge right up and just fold it over. And then I have this big sheet of stickers here. This is actually from the Planner Society. And I'm just going to grab the May sticker and pop it on the tab. And I can go to my calendar section and pop May in. And now you can see how all the tabs work. So I have my tabs which I can label along the side. And then up the top here, I'll have a few different monthly tabs. I just want to decorate the divider a little bit. And this is where you can use the other items that come in the kit. So the kit comes with various stickers and die cuts and all sorts of things and quote cards. So they're really useful for decorating the dividers. Also as part of the kit you have access to printable images. This here is a beautiful U. So there's a whole lot of different hair colour and skin colour people that you can choose and you can download these. I seem to have printed it larger than I normally do so they're quite large but that's okay. Um, and then same with the quote cards. You can get a digital of all of those. I like this girl here and I thought I'd cut her out and put her on the divider. She looks like she's dancing and this is sort of a dance background. You can use your Cricut or your Silhouette to cut it out for you but you can also just use your trusty old scissors. And now I'm just going to cut her out. I'm just using these. These are my little Tim Holtz scissors. They're quite good for fussy cutting around things. And I'm just going to cut her out just with a teeny tiny little white border around her.
there she is there and I thought I'd use a quote card with her so we've got put another dime in the jukebox baby and I was just hoping she could sort of fit like this you could go for this sort of thing or I think I might actually rip the quote out and because I'm going to rip I'm just going to try this one here and I just want to tear the paper just to get a little bit of that white edge on it. So you can see just by ripping it you get a bit of white edge just gives it a bit more of a distressed look. Now that I have the two elements here that I want to put on the dashboard it's just a matter of working out how to place them and just sort of where to put the girl, where to put the words, whether she's on top of the words or under the words. I like the words on top of the girl um, thinking maybe something like that. I'm just using a bog standard old glue stick here just to glue this down. This is just 120 GSM paper and sometimes I just use the kids glue sticks. And this is the divider that I've come up with for May. So it was a pretty simple one to do, but I think it's fun. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. These are the printable Lux monthly inserts for the Milk Bar Kit, also available at plannersanon.com. This is the undated set in a B6 ring format. When you print them out, you can see I've printed them double-sided. So you flip on the short edge of my printer in order to print them double-sided. And you print them at actual size. And you end up with this. And you have little cut marks on the edges and in the center to guide you with where to cut the page. I need to play a little bit with it because my duplexing isn't perfect and I'm out by about 5 millimeters where the lines are on one side to the other side. So I cut sort of one page at a time trying to work out how best to cut it. So for example where this pattern is on two sides I would cut the page based on this side so that these two pages work and then the reverse side would also work. It gets a little bit trickier where you've got patterns on both sides such as here where you've got the washi strips in one colour and then washi strips on this side and the other colour. So it is only a matter of a few millimetres and if you don't mind the holes going into the white section it doesn't even need to be worried about it all and you can just cut them in a big chunk but I have an HP printer and it just never duplexes correctly. I've used other brands in the past and the duplexing has been perfect with the lines completely lined up but um, sadly my current printer is not. So I'll just show you cutting one page. I just cut the center first of all Remember, I'm doing this for a ring planner. If I was doing it for a TN, I would not cut the center. So I'll cut the center. And then I want to cut the edge. And I just use my piece of washi to help me with that. I don't use the guide marks, but there are guide marks on the printout. And then I just need to cut it in the right place this way. So there is a little guide mark on here to cut the top. And then I just measure 7 inches from that cut. So 
So here we have two of the pages. So I'm just going to go through and do all the others and then I can do a quick flip through of all the pages in case you'd like to see what's in the monthly insert. As I cut the pages I built up two different piles. So from the bottom this was the first page that I cut and so I made two piles like this. And then this was the next page and so I did this all the way through all of the pages until I ended up with the center pages and then if you put everything together like this then all of your pages are still in the correct order. The next step is just to punch holes in everything and then pop it in my planner. And now I'll just walk you through the Lux Monthly Insert for Milk Bar. So there's the May Divider. On the reverse of that I just added a few pictures. I cut another person out of the Beautiful You printout just with my scissors and I just glued her there. And then I added these few ice creams here to match the ice creams on this side which is the cover of the Lux printout. When I first printed the Lux printout, I accidentally printed one page upside down, as you can see here. And so because I had this, I thought I'd use it. So I've cut some of the ice creams out of there and just popped them on there. And then this is the May insert, which I just cut down. And the May here is just some vinyl that I've cut on my Cricut machine. And then the first page is just really simple and basically you can embellish this however you like. So we've got Life is Sweet, you can add photos, pictures, you can write on it, all sorts. The sky is the limit. This is the next page, it's the monthly and I have actually just popped some stickers on it. So the ice cream here is printed on the page. And what I've done is I've just put all the monthly stickers on for the month of May and I've put some dates across the top. So all of these stickers are from the Milk Bar kit. I've just added the yay for Friday and along the bottom here I've added the 15mm washi that came with Milk Bar. It's this nice sort of dripping chocolate and caramel there. And that month is now all ready for me to fill in. You've then got a page which is the month ahead where you can jot down, write, draw, whatever you want to do, just ideas you have for the month. And then a page for goal setting. So there are five different goals there, each with two dot points. And you can use this to start breaking down your monthly goals. There's then weekly layouts and there are six weeks in the spread and they're in different colours from the kit. So these are the colours for the Milk Bar kit and you can see you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then a column for this week. All of these are 1.5 inches wide and then you've got three columns down here with a no names and then just a quote here, be the cherry on top. Ice cream solves everything. The quotes change on each page. And then we've got the beautiful milk bar there. And that's the sixth week. This is a grid pattern, a very faint grey grid pattern. And then we've got the flowers down the bottom. Another grid page. Then here we've got the Polaroids, so you can do whatever you like with these. You can do a doodle a day, a word a day, you can put little pictures, photos, anything at all that you like. And you can also embellish them like with other little things like that. Just little stickers or pictures and all sorts. It's really the sky's the limit for what you could do. We've got things to do with the little dot points down two pages. 
and then trackers so these are smaller trackers with 1 to 31 on them and then along here you've got 1 to 31 also so you can write down what you're tracking and then mark it off in the box with a sticker a dot a tick a whatever you like And then we've got one line a day where you can just take a moment each day to write something down, whether it's a thought for the day, a moment, a word, something you're grateful for, anything. We've got some looking back, so some reflection on the month and what worked and what didn't work. And then here we've just got a page to remember. So anything you want to remember, jot down a photo, anything at all, just to summarise the month for you. And then there's the back page. And now that's the month of May ready to go and I can start filling in the pages. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing how to cut the divider and embellish it. And also a bit of a look at the Milk Bar Lux monthly inserts. So the monthly inserts are a printable that you can purchase every month and they match and coordinate with the kit of the month. Each month the colours and the artwork obviously change because the kit changes. But this was Milk Bar. I'm enjoying setting it up and I hope you've enjoyed this little peek into my planner. Thanks so much for coming along with me and maybe I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!